libraries. You know, it's been really amazing to be able to see what libraries in different parts of the world are able to do with differing levels of resources. Um, you can't make this, I've learned not to make assumptions about the resources available, uh, yet at the same time, you know, I've, I've seen that, you know, libraries all over the world are able to do amazing things with whatever resources are available. For example, uh, one of the libraries that I visited that has kind of the most resources, you know, they're not limited hardly in any way by finances, by technology, you know, this is kind of the best that money can buy, you might say. You know, they're able to kind of fully engage with technology in ways that are uh, you know, very progressive and, and very innovative. Uh, so in this Sunset, uh, Yonsei Samsung Library in South Korea that I visited just a few days after it opened. You know, it was truly state-of-the-art technology with full-screen displays, you know, just massive technology everywhere where the students were fully engaged with technology. Uh, not, you know, kind of the latest, being able to kind of, this is a Microsoft service table, uh, being able to consume technology, all of the classes are recorded, made available for, for later use. Uh, so they consume technology, they create technology. The library had a full television studio, for example. Uh, I've visited many other libraries where the resources are, are much more limited, where they might be more print-oriented, where they might not have the resources to purchase uh, electronic resources, they're not really engaged with e-books, you know, they're they're doing well to do the basics uh, with the resources that they have. Uh, you know, how do you keep up with the workload when you have, you know, mostly a print library and not enough people to process the materials that are coming in? Where, so here's an example of this is the IT uh, server room for the university, not the library for the university. And this picture was taken just a couple of years ago. On the other hand, you know, the Library of Congress, another example of where, you know, resources, they're not unlimited, but they're vast, where, you know, state-of-the-art equipment, my interest in, in video technology, for example, this is what they had for digitizing uh, television and video in the modern formats. And they had multi-petabyte storage capabilities. Uh, so in the area of digital preservation and access to digital library content, you know, is it's helpful to see kind of, you know, the, the least and the most, you know, in, in the, my experiences and so forth. When I was in Bogota, 